Oh yeah, 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 that's not updated yet right now, right? Because that's that's definitely an old score right there. So we do have a leaderboard that is um, here. I can update everybody right now. 40th place is currently at 536,000 points right now. 536,000. That is crazy. And it looks like Alex Kerr has dropped down to 38th spot right now. So last year's second place finisher in, in, in huge danger of actually just dropping right out of here. Wow, there's somebody by the name of Zizix here. There's a fighting game player by the name of Zizix from uh, Korea. I really doubt it's the same guy, but that would be funny if he, it was actually him and he showed up. That would be awesome. Green tea at level 27 gets a Tetris, but has oh look at this he's he's out of the he's oh and he's got himself set up for a Tetris, he's Tetris ready and there we go another Tetris, 53% uh, uh, burn rate though so probably not gonna max out, but he's gonna get a great score here if he can get another long piece but we are running into a drought, he is getting bodied by a drought, you never get the long piece when you need it. 22, there it is, 22 piece drought. And you that's the that's the smile of damn you RNG. <laughs> I'm not sure of um Corian's age. And um Alex Kerr, he can jump back in line and try to qualify onto the side if he wants to. Um, I think qualifying is going all day today, so I think how long is qualifying going up to like till like four o'clock? Okay, four o'clock. So actually he only has two hours left, so Corian is 42, so he's a young man. Corian is a young, 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 very extremely young man. He's 41. He's 41, okay, so he, he's definitely super, super young. Not gonna reveal what my age is here, but you can probably guess the context here. Uh, four o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It is 2.15 right now, so he has one hour and 45 minutes to improve his score. Green T trying to set up a center well Tetris right now. He's got it set up. He's Tetris ready. So there we go. Boom, Tetris for Green T. Boom, Tetris for Corian. Simul Tetris. And Corian with a little kind of an unfortunate stack right now. Yeah, he's going to plug that in. And now he gets the L piece finally. Thanks. But there we go. J piece is going to help cover that up. Perfect. So he's looking for one more L piece. Yeah, great pieces right there for Corian. And great choice of placing that J piece off to the side instead of covering up the hole in the middle. Those are the kind of micro adjustments you need to make when you see what your next piece is and you can react to it in time. Oh boy, now look at this drought that he has right now. So he has to start going into burn mode. Beautiful burn to drop that uh, the, the O piece right there. But unfortunate placement, forced placement for that um, Z piece. And yeah, you can see the head shake. That is the standard uh, Tetris head shake. Once you start getting those bad randomizations, it's scientists have discovered that the, the Tetris head shake is never voluntary. It is definitely a reflex action that people are not doing on purpose. <laughs> Side note, no official scientific tests have been actually done to test the Tetris head shake. All right, and he's dug himself out, so there you go, Corian. With the Tetris, beautiful stuff. And he's gonna get another one right there, another Tetris, 67%. He is definitely at max out pace. Meanwhile, Jonas right now, he just, uh, he's at, own, uh, oh wow, he's at an 82%, 83% Tetris rate right now. And he has more lines uh, cleared than Corian right now, so he is in a great position right now. Obviously, he's going to have to burn some pieces here. 
So the rate's gonna drop a little bit, but that's still an amazing... Oh man, that was just unfortunate RNG right there. He needs off. Oh, finally, he's gonna clear and the square piece, perfect. So now he's set up for a Tetris. He's Tetris ready. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. And that dropped him down to an 80% rate, but that is still amazing. Let's go for the T-spin. There we go. The only T-spin that is really kind of possible on classic Tetris. Now he needs to get himself out of this well, uh, this, this, and clean up. So he transitioned at an 80% rate, which is crazy. As you can see here, Corian, one of the world's greatest as well, is about to transition, but it's going to transition at a 69% rate. Good pieces right there, but he needs to burn off the side. He's going to drop the long piece to the side. Yeah, didn't have the Tetris, but there we go. Boom, Tetris for Corian now. Green team, meanwhile, is at a uh, near transition point. But he is burning right now, and he has hit a drought. But what's his rate right now? He's at 58% rate right now. So a little bit of the uh, uneasy smile for him because he knows that this is not going as the best game possible right now. But let's go back to Jonas's screen here. Jonas is still at a 71% Tetris rate at level, at level uh, 21. That's remarkable right now. He is playing so well. And there you saw a micro adjustment from Jonas. He was going to drop the long piece into that spot right there, but at the last second, moved it one more over just so that he had the right space for the, long, uh, for the next piece coming after that. Those are the kind of things that I feel like Jonas is one of the best at. And Corian, no, he's going to top out there. So unfortunately, at 652 right now, transitioned at 562. Jonas, however, is on amazing pace right now. If he can still get decent RNG and if he can keep this going here, he's going to have to go for a center well Tetris? No, instead he's just going to clean up. He's just going to burn here. So obviously his rate is going to drop a little bit, but he is looking good so far. He is not in really any danger of topping out. 70% rate still. That is tremendous right now. So he's going to drop the long piece there. Yep. Perfect. A boom. Tetris for Jonas again. He is maintaining this rate that he has. And this is amazing so far that we have from Jonas. Oh, perfect. And he's going to get another Tetris. He is maintaining the 70% rate here in a post-transition speed. Oh, had to block that, but that's an okay block. That's an okay burn because he can build a center well Tetris, or in fact, he can just clear it out. Now he's going to try to transition all himself back to the right side. And you can see right here, still doing amazing. Yep, he's going to drop that over there. Oh, unfortunate pieces right Oh, but he's still going to get another Tetris. He's at 69% Tetris rate right now. So he's still at a close to 70% Tetris rate at level 26. He is about to max out. He is at, he's about to max out at level 27. Boom. Okay, he is at 27. If he can get one more Tetris, he's going to max, and he is Tetris ready. He is Tetris ready. This is going to be a te He's going to max out at level 27. This is a run for the ages. Boom, there we go, a max out. We just had a max out for Jonas at level 27. Jonas, oh, and a beautiful tuck right there as well. Oh man, Jonas is not quitting here. He is still going in this hardcore. Look at that beautiful adjustment, another Tetris. God, this, I mean, if we had the infinite scoring recording on right now, what would his score be at right now? He wants another Tetris, boom. Tetris for Jonas to transition to 29. That is a ridiculous score right there. That was amazing. That was amazing. 69% Tetris rate, max out at level 27. Jonas Neubauer, ladies and gentlemen. It's not 480i, etc., etc., etc. What Trey has actually done here is that he is actually capturing the outputs of the NES, these are being played on actual Nintendo systems here, but he is capturing the output and redrawing it on the screen in HD format. So this is all happening literally in real time that is being a real, that is drawn right there. And then um, 
while he's doing that, because he's redrawing the pieces and redrawing everything on the screen in real time, he can record which pieces are coming up. He's programmed it so that the that the, the redrawer will recognize what the pieces are, and then he can also uh, collect stats on it. So this is all just his own custom creation. It's really, really crazy. Yeah, Trey is a genius. Genius. When I first saw this thing that he was building uh, last year, I was just like, this is amazing. And someone asked me, what is it about Jonas that makes him so much better than a lot of other people? Um, the reason why Jonas is so good is, like I said, he is so good at making these micro adjustments and, you know, the way that he plays, I feel like he is, his piece placement, I, I, as I mentioned, there's, a w there's ways to make it so that your RN RNG can be your friend, that you give yourself the best RNG chances. And I really honestly feel like Jonas is one of the best at that. He may not be the most execution technical, hyper tappy kind of player because he is a Daz player. But, like I said, I, I feel like the strategy and the um, awareness that he has is uh, another level uh, compared to a lot of his opponents. That's not to say that everybody else isn't also amazing, but it's just there's amazing and then there's just like sometimes you just run to these people that are just more amazing than amazing and I feel like that's kind of the situation that Jonas is in he's just look at this situational awareness like he's gotten some bad pieces but it has not stopped him at all and there you go boom Tetris for Jonas and he's still at an 80% rate even though I feel like he just had a bad sequence of pieces um, anybody else playing this probably would have been um, down to like 60% rate of Tetris's uh, thanks to that RNG, but Jonas maintaining still a 75% rate right here. And he also drinks high quality whiskey, according to Crypto Nick. <laughs> All right. Okay, tough situation for Jonas. He's got to burn. He's got to burn. Yeah, so now he's going to be okay. He's Tetris ready again. And there we go. Tetris ready. Boom. Tetris for Jonas. Corian, by the way, at level 24, what's his Tetris rate? He's Tetris ready as well. Oh, beautiful rotation at the last second. Boom, Tetris for Corian, 53% Tetris rate. So he's not at max out pace, but he's at a good scoring pace here. So um, he's already high up on the leaderboard, so he's not really too worried about it, but he wants to get himself a better seed for sure. Not going to be a Tetris there, so that's why he didn't drop that on the side over there. Corian's going to get a Tetris now. Boom, Tetris for Corian. And not quite ready. Oh, he got it over there just in time. Nice. Going for the high-risk plays right there is Corian. Tetris ready and rewarded. Boom, Tetris for Corian at 55% right now. 829,000 at 55%. Boom, Tetris for Corian. So like I said, probably not going to get a max out, but he's going to be very close and he's going to be able to build a very nice score here for himself to try to get himself a little bit better seating. Remember, he was 210 points away from a max out uh, earlier, so obviously he's doing fine. He's just trying to improve his seed right there. Boom, Tetris for Corian. He's at level 28. Level 29, of course, is the kill screen. Oh! Oh no, he's Tetris ready, but if he doesn't get a, oh no, okay, that's it right there. So he's going to end up at 908,000, so great job to him. So Jonas is about to transition at a 73% rate right now. He has been playing the most consistent out of anybody I've seen here today so far. He's been at around 70%. See right there. Normally you would put the square all the way to the right. But he saw the L piece was coming. So he put the square piece one over from the side to build the space for the upcoming L piece. Those are the things that, you know, I mean, like I said, all the players do this, a lot of players do this, but I just feel like Jonas is at another level with it than, than anybody else. I, I can't explain it. 
Oh no, a bad start for Corian. I'm probably gonna just start doing some cleanup here. And the crazy thing is, a lot of people will probably see this and be like, Oh man, look how high the stack is at level 18. I guess they're done and they gotta start over. No, not these players. Being this high stacked up at level 18 is like nothing for these guys. They can clear through this no problem. As you can see, Corian out, boom, Tetris for Corian, no problem. Corian Tetris ready right now. Jonas, oh no, he's building himself some peaks and valleys. And those are never good to have in a Tetris game. The reason why is if you have those peaks and valleys and they're built by S or Z pieces, the only piece that can fit on top of them is another S or another Z piece or a T piece. But if you put a T piece on there, it just turns it into the opposite peak or valley. And so it's a really, really annoying situation to get yourself stuck in. So you do not want to build those um, peaks and valleys like that. Uh, I don't know. I know Quaid was Hauser last year. Uh, what's my favorite Tetris game right now? Hard to say. I am planning to get myself a setup for uh, Nest Tetris and for Tetris the Grandmaster, and it'll likely become one of those for sure. I do not see the YouTube chat right now, unfortunately. So everybody who's watching on YouTube right now, I do apologize ahead of time. I'm sitting, oh, well, the YouTube chat is over here. Oh, sweet, I can see both of them if I wanted to. Okay, I'll try to jump back and forth between the two for you guys, here we go. So, um, if you want to uh, ask a question on the YouTube channel, put at Classic Tetris. So then I can answer questions over there as well. Tetris the Grandmaster is only an arcade game. You cannot find that anywhere else, so it's all emulators. So my current process, so Alex Kerr, who got second place last year, sold me a Tetris the Grandmaster board. So I have the board, I just don't have a super gun. So you need something called a super gun to play arcade boards. What's the most underrated Tetris? That is a great question. I have no idea because I don't think there's such a thing. As long as you're Tetris, you're awesome. Um, is Tetris a fighting game? No, no, Tetris is not a fighting game. It's a puzzle game. <laughs> and again, yeah, I know uh, people who do know me from the fighting game scene and everything like that. You know, I appreciate uh, people who, who say hi to me and everything like that, but let's try to keep the conversation here as Tetris-oriented as possible. So Corian right now, what's he at? He's at a 57% rate. But he's still at level 18, so he's got a long way. He can build up that percentage very, very high again. Meanwhile, Jonas, level 27, still at a 60% rate. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. So he is at max out pace right now. He is at max out pace. Okay. He needs a long piece. He's getting to a drought. Good burn. There we go. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Tetris now, 900. Jonas at 964. So he just needs, oh, okay, a little, okay, but actually all he needs, oh, that was such a great adjustment from Jonas right there. He's just looking for that long piece, but it's not showing up. Where are you? 1617, there it is, boom, and another max out for Jonas to transition to the death screen. Another max out by Jonas as he transitions to the kill screen. Jonas is, Ridiculous. No, he, uh, three everyone only, three, three players with two. Jesus Christ. Dude, it's ridiculous, right? This is ridiculous, man.